Hello all. And welcome to Advent of Code. Day 7. 2022. We've been at it for uh, a week now. And uh, we've done okay so far, I think. We've done a lot of parsing. Um, I mean, we've been trying to be principled. Um, but, you know, sometimes it's just easier to just work with a string, right? As always, we're doing it in Haskell because it is the best programming language. And I just want to point out that uh, at this page, right, it says lambda y.2022 and ahrefs, right, they write a lot of OCaml. Um, they always show up to ICFP. They're apparently sponsoring Advent of Code this year. So, we're not alone out there. I should be, should have been. I've been, I sometimes wear HRF's uh, t-shirts. You got the ones with the camel on them. But this time, I have a uh, tie-dye shirt made by Anandi. My biggest fan, uh, but it has green in it. So, I put a little green square behind my back to make the colors work out. I hope you don't mind the hack. Anyway, how's everyone doing today? Uh, let's take a look on uh, day seven. Ah, yeah, we're still working with this device. They gave us a communication device last time. Um, now we're trying to see what we could do with it. By the way, Dwarf Fortress came out yesterday. If you haven't played it. It is a legendary game. You should check it out. Huh. Yeah, try to race me. But I'm chatting about it at the same time, so it's not quite a race, but yeah. Alright, so let's see. The race has started. But I think we should get started, right? Okay. So what are we supposed to do? You can hear birds chirping and raindrops hitting leaves as the expedition proceeds. Occasionally, you can even hear much louder sounds in the distance. How big do the animals get out there anyway? Wow. This is in some alternate lore reality. I wonder if someone does like a in-depth lore, lore dive of the advent of code. Anyway, so we fixed this communication device. We found a start of message before, but now. I'm trying to run a system update. Okay. No space left on it. Okay. This is a uh, classic. Perhaps you can delete some space for the update. Your brother advised me situation and save the records. Hold the internet output. Your possible input. For example, wow. CDLS. Dir, okay. And then some numbers. Dir D, C, D, A, L, S, Dir E. Wow. Okay, so here we really have to parse the input. Like we have to, we have to model the system. Dir A, so LS, ah, okay. So it's just running LS and then it's printing Dir A, okay. Well, files is the consists of three files, plain data and directories, which can contain other directories or files. The outermost directory is called root. You can navigate around the file system, moving into our other directories and listing the contents of the directory currently in. Within the terminal output, lines are beginning with dollar or commands you executed. We're a mesh like some modern computers. CD means change directory. Uh, CD.x means we'll move in one level. CD dollar switches the current directory. Good. LS means list. Okay, wow. Yes. So we have the file system. These directories also contain files of various sizes. The disk is full. Well. First of all, we find to find directory are good candidates for deletion. To do this, you need to determine the total size of each directory. The total size of a directory is the sum of the size of the files it contains, directly or indirectly. Directories themselves do not count as having any interest size. Yeah, okay, so we have the size of the. Okay. 
E, yep. And uh, Director G has a tool. As the other modes here, Director G has a file. So the size is 4838165. The sum of size of every file. To begin, find all of the directories with a total size of at most 100,000. Then calculate the sum of their total sizes. In the example, these are 8 so the total size is 95427. As in the example, these calculators can count files more than once. Yes. Find all of the directories with total size of at most 1,000. What is the sum of the total sizes of those directories? Wow. Yeah, I was warned. One of my friends, uh, who's also been doing these, uh, he said, like, did you, did you see today? So, I don't know. Okay, let's, uh, and I talked to Andreas Abba, who's a, uh, who works on Agda. Let's paste the example in. And, uh, he's like, yeah, you can just hard code things right away. Uh, but we want to do some parsing. Okay, let's, uh, keep the example here. And uh, now, how are we, we're going to model this as a tree, right? Data. Huh. Data. Uh, dirt tree equals data. Five, uh, so, uh, uh, dirt tree equals. Uh, so, it is either a file. We actually, we don't have to... Uh, remember the names of the files we don't care about them maybe ah. yeah so maybe it matters later in task two. So let's not uh, let's say file or it's a deer so it's a it's a deer which is a file uh, of a string int Otherwise, it's a, a deer with a name. Okay, so we're ju just going to uh, we are just going to um, we're not gonna like keep the sizes of the directories. Deriving show. Now, read input. Okay, so we'll get a list of commands. Uh, okay, and then we're always going to be jumping around. Okay. So let's, uh, let's read the input. Now we need to keep track of the like current path or something. Okay, so let's say uh, find uh, find deer takes in a deer and a string and uh, returns a deer. So this is like a zoom. We're gonna zoom in. Okay, find. Find deer and then root, and then we say path equals a dude. Ah, oh, this is actually so directory is either is a list, uh, so this deer entry. Now, uh, a uh, directory is either a file or a steer. And a deer is actually has a string and it's a list of deer entries. Okay. Yeah, deriving show. So find deer root path. Okay, so a let's see, this is deer entry and this is deer entry. Okay, path. Now, I'm going to copy the split function from before. We wrote it at some point, right? D, 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 D. I don't remember what day it was. Does anyone remember? It just is a chunks function. We used that before. Uh, split on, yeah. 
So this is going to be the split on, and we're going to split on the. the okay, let's uh, let's let's uh, not do that. Hmm. So how are we going to model? We want to model the directories, and then we're kind of. So this is really hard, right? We first have to build up the directory tree, and then we have to, because we're not just given the directory tree. That one, then it would be easier, right? We actually have to uh, kind of. Um, Um, so it looks like they're doing like a, yeah, okay. Let's, let's see here. Uh, so their size is going to be a dear entry to int. Now their size of a file I is just a file, dear size of a, a dear uh, entries equals some uh, map dear size entries. Okay, so this is how we find the size of the directory. Now, okay. Let me just check the input. Uh, I'm sure it's, yeah, so they both start at, uh, yeah, so they always go kind of, they're doing like a depth first population of it, right? Okay, so, um, let's see. So uh, we we have a so let's when we're populating this okay we have the dear size uh, populate takes in a, it's a list of yeah we're just gonna have a list of line list of string we're gonna return a dear entry. This is going to be the root. Populate. So if you have a dollar CD R, then we just uh, uh, so this is the first one. Okay, now this one is going to be a, a let root equals dear uh, entries uh, Okay, so this is gonna, we're going to say root is dear entries. Uh, so we're going to say let entries is equal to populate our uh, hmm. This is really not done in a convenient like the in, like this is also like I don't know I feel like this is a really a theme this year right like the the uh, problem is not really the problem it problem is just like parsing the thing okay so this is actually gonna be um, so oh so I always do CD and then LS CD and then CD and then So we do C D A and then we do C D E. So we so we always okay, so from C D E and L S and then if there's no directory there, so we're always gonna have so we're gonna split these into chunks. 
of a, a of matching so we're gonna match cd dollar and a cd dot dot right at the end right um for all of them except the start Because see, we see here CDA, and then we go into E, and then we go return from A here. Okay, so let's see. So only the only the the only the root is special. Okay. So populates. Okay, so we're gonna we're just gonna skip the first one. Uh, okay, and then we're gonna say, so first one is gonna be CD dollar, and then uh, it's gonna be dollar LS. Okay, and then the rest, okay. Now, okay, so let's see here. Um, let's, uh, let's see. Populate dear. Okay, so this one is gonna take uh, a list of things. Uh, it starts with a, a CD uh, and then uh, this one starts with a CD and then uh, our hmm. Let's see. But you get what I mean, right? We're gonna like find the CDA and then we're gonna uh, take until at the end of that. Um, so, cause, cause we wanna, you wanna, you know, conquer and divide, right? Okay, so it was way easy if it were in Perevita, right? We could just take until... Okay, let me see. Hmm, okay, populate deer. Uh, uh, so this is a line. And then uh, imp, and then imps. Okay, this one is uh populate deer is gonna give, like, give us the commands okay and then we're gonna return a deer entry and we're also gonna return the rest of the commands okay now populate deer uh, ln uh, r a so we're gonna first of all take from the start of the ln. So that's going to be um, how do I like match against a just partial string? Okay, let's say here um, dollar cd and then space and then. Uh, your name it's gonna be span uh, no this is not gonna be span yeah this is gonna be split at length uh, cd dollar cd space uh, uh, ln okay uh, and this is actually this is always gonna match Right. Otherwise, equals uh, error wasn't a deer. Okay, now this is gonna be um, okay. So we're gonna. We're gonna take while we get a uh, take. 
Mm, okay, uh, this deer. Okay, so this would be really good if we had like a parser, right? But like a like a multi-line parser. Let's see. A uh, text dot parser comment reader dot read p. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see here. Okay, so this is gonna be a. Uh, it's actually gonna be like a tree data a. Uh, Dear tree, sorry, I'm going back and forth here, right? Um, it's just going to be a string and then a list of um, dear trees. Okay. Uh, so we're going to kind of encapsulate all the commands in that. Uh, Okay. Data tree, tree. What is wrong with this? Ah. Oh. Type. Uh, new type. Um. Ah, I just need to do dt, and then it's gonna be the string, and then a list of the rest of the trees. A uh, data. Deriving a uh, show. Okay, we actually don't want to derive so, but we're going to derive it in the beginning. Okay, so instant, instance read deer tree. Uh, where reads prec. Uh, prio equals read p to uh, read p to prec is that a thing we'll go uh read p to prec ah parser combinators okay so uh ah okay i can just do uh reach prec it's actually just a uh, lift dot Pars. Uh, uh, and then read p2 prec. No, wait. Uh, oh yeah, read prec to p. Lift out pars. A. Uh, sorry. Uh, so I'm defining the read s here, right? Now this is read p. Uh, and I want to say a uh, read prec to s, read prec to s, s, rs. Now let's say uh, import, uh, import uh, text dot parser combinators dot uh, read rec uh, the type of this parse then has to be read prec dirt tree but it's not going to be read prec it's going to be a, a a read s now read p yeah it's going to be a, a dollar lift pars and then this read p uh, is going to be where pars equals <sighs> okay so now we have to produce one of these dirt trees and uh, we're actually so and we get in the um so what if we use a uh, text dot r parser combinators uh, what if we use parsec huh.
Oh, but this is in the Parsec module. Oh. Okay. Um... Let's uh, just say here. Okay, so parse. So we're gonna have like a <laughs> between open close parse is open followed by p and finally a close. Okay, so then we do um, so we're first gonna parse a string, right? We're gonna parse a root is going to be string a uh, dollar cd slash and then slash it right return undefined and uh, right import text dot parser combinators that uh, read p okay so we're gonna First, take the CDN and then a. Uh, let's see. A. Uh, doom, 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 doom. Let's see. And then we're going to do. Look. Uh, okay, we actually don't care about this. And then we're gonna say here uh, trace um, show um, uh, rest. And we're gonna import debug dot trace, and then uh, why isn't it? What is wrong with this? Could you parse it uh, or ah? Uh. Let's actually be careful here. Okay, now. Uh, So read input takes in the file path and returns a dirt tree. Read input fn equals a. We're just gonna say a read at dirt tree dot a, a read file ln. And now we need to say this to be. Language GT twenty twenty one actually, and it doesn't like this because we haven't F map and we're not uh, doing IO, and this is actually supposed to be F map. Okay, now let's do here do read input example uh, print. Now we're just gonna see where we're at, right? Let's see, uh, CD day seven, GTO day seven, day seven dot HS, and user bin time day seven. Ah, oh, day dot, I wanted to say day seven. Okay, so yeah, okay. So we took the first string, all right? Okay, now, um, bling, 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 bling. okay, so now it's going to say, um, Mm. Okay, so then it's gonna say, uh, it's actually gonna say, um, string uh, ls, dollar ls. Okay, we print again. Okay, then, ah, and then slash n, right? 
Okay, now it's we're gonna say a like take a while, right? Um many so let's say many one uh and then we're gonna say a many one a parse command now we're gonna say here a uh, parse command uh Parse this is actually parse ls, okay? Parse ls uh, equal to do. So uh, let's not actually take this ls. So let's say many. What? No, it's actually gonna be a. Uh, uh, let's say uh, let's actually have this be a ls a. Uh, ls arise okay parse ls is gonna be do we gonna we're gonna take a string dollar ls and then a we're gonna say a lands a dear cons equals a many one uh and we are gonna we're gonna we're gonna uh, we're just gonna take Let's say many is gonna be many one. A oh, we can't hear you. Hello. You can't hear me at all because my stream says uh, it does say that uh, it does say that I'm broadcasting. Um. Huh. Let me see, not at all, question mark. Uh, hmm, stream says I'm broadcasting though. Okay, let me look into these technical issues. Sorry about that. Uh, Witch.tv Ding 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 Hmm Yeah, I mean so what I'm seeing is a let me see here So the audio levels here say This is going to be very confusing. But the audio levels here say that Wavelink stream is being broadcast. Okay, now advanced audio properties. Uh, and it says it's broadcasting the stream one. And the stream one is going up. Okay. Uh, let me see. Because I can definitely hear myself, but uh, I cannot hear. Hmm. OBS says broadcasting. Okay. Um. What am I doing differently today? Oh, this is not the one. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Okay. Uh, is it just because I'm on my own channel or? Does it not say... Okay, let me restart the stream. 
Uh, I'm gonna restart that stream. Okay. All right, sorry about that. Now, let's go back and uh, restart the stream. Okay, uh, I restarted the stream. Okay, uh, I restarted the stream. Okay, ah. uh, now I can hear. I restarted the stream. Okay, ah, okay. Uh, now I can hear. I restarted the stream. Sorry about that. Uh, I don't know what happened, but so the audio was recorded for part one. So it's on the recording. So it's, something went wrong between the sending the recording to Twitch uh, or sending the in the actual progress. That's weird. This is just a, I think we just hit like a, uh, we hit a uh, an OBS bug or something. Anyway, sorry about that. Now I can also see the OBS setup. Anyway, so to recap for those of you on the stream, um, we're trying to, we have to parse these two things. Let me actually just close the example here. Okay. And let me just keep it like this. So you can see the chat. Um, also let me know. Yeah. Let me know if it happens again. Sorry about that again. So, uh, now we're trying to say dear cons and, uh, 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 all right, I closed the window. I was okay. Um, many till, uh, yeah, okay. So, first, just a uh, bar's line is equal to, uh, is just equal to, um, uh, many till. Uh, many till uh, bars line is gonna be many till so we're gonna get and then we're gonna say we're gonna say a char uh, and so this is gonna be many one uh, many till a uh, bars line uh, and then we're gonna say it's many till a char uh, uh, and then we're gonna say this code is gonna be parse like a cd dot dot oh uh, no this is gonna be so we're gonna parse a line until we uh, get a Our CD is gonna be a uh, so it's gonna be a uh, so now we're parsing a CD line okay which is gonna be uh, do a uh, string a uh, dollar CD space and then a uh, a uh, uh, their name is gonna be a uh, a uh, many till a uh, char n and then we are going to return a uh, dear name so when we're parsing an ls we take a uh, ls uh, and we're always going to end up at an no, we always end up on, we don't end up, um... Okay, let me see. Let's see, let's say, uh, let's take the rest. So let's just look at this again, okay. Uh, so, okay, and then I'm gonna say, um... Uh, 
Okay, I'm not gonna say here. Uh, oi. So we let me parse a line. Okay, and uh, so if I trace show rest and I trace show um, Ellen. Yes, that was dollar LS. Okay. Um, so an LS is really uh, until, uh, so we parse lines. So now we're gonna parse ls. We'll do uh, so first. It's string a uh, dollar ls. Okay, now we're gonna say a uh, uh, ln dear cons is gonna be many till. So we're gonna parse all the lines. Parcel, pause, we're gonna parse the lines. Let me make it a bit smaller. We're gonna parse lines uh, until we parse a. Uh, uh, parse cmd is equal to many till get. Uh, so many, so this is parse, to parse a command, we actually do a uh, char uh, dollar. Uh, do I actually so char actually? Um, let me see. So yeah, it's char and then a uh, many till yet a uh, lesson. So many till parse line parse cmd. Okay, a uh, turn. Uh, no, okay, so we actually just do here, dear cons. Okay, so now I'm gonna say here, uh, parse ls and then take a look at the res and then trace show um, ls res. Let's actually print that out. I think this works. Yes, yeah, see? And we got the, uh, we get the contents of that directory and the rest Huh. Ooh, okay. Uh, okay, it seems like it throws out the uh, Yeah, so it's actually, it's actually a um, parse CMD. So it throws out the, uh, parse LS. So it's actually, it throws out the, uh, oh, hey, Woodpecker. Thanks for the follow. Um, Okay, so it, it uh, uh, but uh, how can I kind of, I want to many till, uh, until n succeeds, and then, so it, 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 uh, so it reads until the end, but then it doesn't return that character, right? So it doesn't return the command, the next command. Okay, let's uh, then see here. Uh, okay, so let's see here. Maybe we can say here parse many till get char uh, parse command. Uh, let's see, it's until. No.
So, so I want to, I want to get the value at end here, right? Because I don't want to. Uh, Are zero more kind of an end by one uh, separated into by seven? Okay, and what I want, I don't want to. Uh, I'm doing day seven of the one, um, but we're we're trying to we're doing it with a parser. And we're trying to write the parser to parse the thing into a, into a directory. Um, Okay, uh, Okay, so I want to say here, so, um, so this, I want to, so parse, okay, so this is going to be look CMD, look CMD is going to be, a. okay, so I'm going to, uh, look. Uh, so I don't want to consume it, right? Uh, look ahead. Returns the part of the input that is left without consuming it. Uh, we have to be careful here. Okay, so we're going to just say look CMD is going to be... Uh, 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 R is equal to look. Ah. Oh, maybe I can just do like this. Uh, do. Uh, so I want to say rest is look. And then I'm going to... Uh, I'm not going to parse a line. I'm going to say... Uh, uh, We're gonna say a uh, uh, f and uh, line. Okay, so then we're gonna say a uh, rest is gonna be lines. Okay. Now this is gonna be uh, this rest here is a is a it's supposed to be a list of strings. Okay. Now. Uh, 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 R uh, rest. Okay, so okay, we're gonna say like this now. Uh, uh, if uh, R, and then we're just gonna say uh, okay. So we're gonna actually gonna say look CMD. We're gonna say this is gonna be a list of strings. So it's gonna be if it starts with the dollar. Uh, and then we don't care about the rest. Uh, we're gonna say return true. Okay, so this is gonna this is gonna f this is gonna fail, right? But uh, it's not gonna consume anything when it fails. Okay, look CMD. Okay, let's see. Yes, see, now it the the parser succeeds. But it doesn't actually consume the input, right? So we still have the CDA there, which is exactly what we wanted, right? Okay, um, many tail parse line look CMD. Okay, so now we parse an LS. Okay, so. Um, Okay, uh, so we parse the ls, and then now we want to parse a dir. So we do parse deer is gonna be okay. Um, let's see now. Par parse deer is going to be do. Okay. 
So we're gonna we're gonna take the uh, we're gonna take the string dollar cd uh, and then we're going to uh, many uh, till uh, so this is gonna be get a uh, char slash n. Okay, so this is gonna be their name. Okay. And then we're gonna say parse. Uh, so after we get after we change the directory, we always do ls, right? So we're gonna say uh, ls res is parse ls. Now, uh, okay. So now we're gonna say. Uh, And now we're gonna say a uh, many till uh, uh, ours dear string dollar cd dot dot slash n. Okay, so d res. Uh, now we're going to say return dt uh, let's let's have this in here okay we're going to say the ls res is going to be a string okay ls is going to be a string and then a uh, huh yes so it's gonna be the name. Okay, so we're gonna say dt, uh, dt. This is gonna be the dir name, which is a string. It's gonna be the ls res, which is a string. Oh, that's a list of strings. Yes. Okay. Uh, the the ls res here, and then the rest is gonna be d res. Um, d res. Okay, now, uh, so we do cd slash and then parse ls. Okay, then we say look and then a so now I'm gonna say here, I'm gonna say a d da is gonna be parse dir. And then we're gonna say trace show m da. Okay, let's see what happens now. This might just fail. Huh. See? And it's nested. So it goes a and then e. Uh, so it finds dear a, right? And then it goes into e and then it finds this one and it ends the parts of e. And then it ends the parts of this. Ah! The beauty of proper parsing, huh? Okay, so ls is gonna be a parse ls many to parse nine in Okay, we don't actually care about the uh Yeah, okay, so now we got the a uh, Okay, but now, okay, so we, but we have a special case for CD slash. Okay, so this is gonna be a parse dear. It's gonna be, it's actually gonna be parse. It's not gonna be, gonna be CD slash slash. Or it's gonna be EOF, right? So this is the old. Uh, so this is gonna be a it's gonna be a choice between this one and EOF, which is the EOF view, yeah. Ah, but it doesn't have the same type. So 
so let's just uh, do a void so this is a function uh, data dot void uh, which just takes things and uh, returns them okay and like kind of ignores the import control dot monad void and then these have the same type and uh, the problem with this one is that this one has a ah so choice read eight okay these are the so match the string here Uh, maybe just void then? No fmap? Yeah, okay. This one parses, okay? Ba -ba 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 -ba. So now we're not going to do parse ls and all this. We are just going to do parse dir here. Let's see. Oh no. Okay, it. And the problem with parse dear now. Okay, let's actually see if it just still just does the first thing. So what is the problem here? Um, because it should uh, so parses a correctly okay and now let's say now let's take a look at the rest okay after we parse the a okay so then the rest is CDD and then we pass D up. Ah, okay. Uh, CDD and then we pass, uh, we get till, we get the dear name and then we get the LS res. Let's see what happens here. Ah, okay, so this one has to be probably a... Let's actually just see what happens here. Let's just parse it there. Uh-huh. So we see the... and then we do... So we do CDA and then we do DRES. Let's show the Let's see what's uh, what's there after that part. Okay, so we 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 show the rest. Okay, and we just parsed and uh, we didn't get anything. Yeah, so this is the. Uh, so E was parsed. Okay, and we did parse A. But then, and then CDD is there. Hmm. 
Many tail parts there, okay. Um Right, so uh Okay, uh, let's see. So we start by taking a uh, the Dirnam and the LS. Okay, and then we're left with this. Okay, and then we start taking the command and the LS, and then we. Uh, And then we are, so we have the LS, and then we're left with this. Okay, so we go into there. And then we're left with this. Okay, so this one closes the... Uh, this one. And then this one closes the... Uh, it closes this one. And then we go into D. Okay, and this is CDD. Okay, and now we... We take the uh, CDD. Okay, so we got the dear A. And I feel like now it's trying to parse CDD LS. And then. Um, Ah, okay, maybe it's many tool puzzle tries to parse there and then if it gets it's getting CD dot dot it ends. If it gets EOF it ends. So we might have like some nested directories. Uh, Okay, so let's. I don't know how quite how to fix this. So I'm just gonna have a special case for the CD because it like it doesn't it doesn't like conform to the pattern kind of. Okay, then we get the LS Res. Okay, and then I'm gonna see a. Parse LS Marnie Tail Parse Lines. Okay, let's do lines. Dollar A. We have a line, so parse LS. Expected repeat. Uh, so this is gonna be parse. So parse LS. Uh, right. Okay. This is just gonna be parse LS. So that's the lines, and then we're gonna say uh, how many uh, filter uh, so let's say here so L and uh, take uh, take uh, three of LN equals equal there of L as res let a uh, uh, root subs equals a uh, so we want to say a uh, length of this okay and uh, so we do ls and we do and then we parse there and then we parse to there okay and then we'll just say a uh, Repeat. No. Replicate M. So then we're going to do something n times. So we're just going to say. Uh, num root subs is going to be. Uh, uh, so we're going to say. Root dares is going to be. Uh, replicate M. Num root subs parse there and we need to import replicate m 
Uh, we're not actually using this Jira entry anymore. Okay. Uh, replicate M. Yes. Now, and how do we refine this? So we see return. We are going to say DT of slash. And we're going to say the LS res. And then we're going to say root. Cheers. Okay, let's say here uh, trace show m um, uh, rooters. Maybe it fails before that. Yeah, trace show m um, uh, num root subs. Okay, because um, it finishes with the uh, CDD. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's say D A is ours there, and then I want to show. I want to say uh, rest is look, and I want to see the rest here. And we're gonna say return undefined. Ah the terminal sorry about that um do 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 linking okay so this is what's left okay so what i don't get okay so we, we're here okay let me see trace show their name Tracio M, their name, and then Tracio M, LS Res. Okay, uh, Tracio M, so then uh, let's see DD. Ah. CDD is slash n. It's in the LS res that it doesn't like it. Okay. Okay, yeah, it's because it's uh, it's not uh, it's not actually choice a uh, look command or EOF. So that's what's the problem. Many to get charged. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Uh, so we parse the LS, right? We managed to get that far, I think. And it says D, and then it's saying these three things, and then it says many till parse line and now it's saying look command or EOF okay a uh... hmm. maybe ah oh, because it's probably not getting the EOF character right it's getting the uh, uh, empty CMD. Uh, let's see, uh, empty. Uh, maybe that's the problem here. Empty. No, okay. Uh, rest empty uh, equals uh, do empty list out of look return okay so this is rest empty mm. 
Okay, it put so it's getting that. Let me just see res trace show m um, res a uh, return res. Do I actually get the res there? No. So the problem is somewhere here. Okay, um many till get char slash n if I just add a, add a new line there. Oh yeah. Okay, so it's because it doesn't end in a new line. Uh, but does this work with EOF also? Yeah, it also works with EOF. So it, it was, no, the problem was not the rest empty here. It was the... Uh, okay, the problem with this many till get a so choice uh, char n EOF. a uh, void jar and okay nice now i think this can just be rewritten as parse deer ah all right we managed to parse the file system that took a while <laughs> okay now let's say uh, let's let's say uh, uh, no okay so now we parse this input oh wait I did it just parse because I I did this new line here. No, yeah, okay. Now it works. Okay. Parse line instance read. All right. Not bad. We managed to parse it. Okay, so let's remove all these uh, trace amps and looks. Just to simplify it a bit. Yeah, okay. So. Now, back to the problem. Oh my god. Let's actually... I just want to make sure it actually parses the input also. A new file. Input. We don't want to do all this work and then figure out that it doesn't actually work for the input, huh? Okay. Oh, read input. Input. Print. Okay, it parses the input as well. So the parser works. Now, problem at hand is... Okay, uh, now let's say dirt tree... Let's say this is dirt tree string, right? And this is dirt tree string. Dirt tree string, dirty string, dirt tree string. And we're reading at a dirt tree string. Now, a uh, data dirt tree uh, is gonna be a function, so it's gonna be d dt. Okay, uh, so that's gonna be a dir, which has a string, a string, and it has a string, it has a size, and then it has a. a Let's call this uh, FS, right? So, or dir tree. Okay, dir tree. Uh, uh, okay, actually, just a dir. Uh, FS entry, we call it. Okay, so this is going to be a directory and then a list of FS entries. Or it's going to be a file string int deriving show concrete. Now, um, now we want to convert a uh, what is the problem here? Yeah, it's probably because I already defined it here. Okay, a uh, dirt tree string. Ah, uh, damn. Oh, 
All right, this is just a dirt tree string, right? Let's just see if this still works. Yeah, let's comment out there. Well, let's comment out the region boot here. Now we want to say fry the function to fs is going to be a take a dirt tree string and it's going to convert it to an fs and tree to fs okay and mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so how did they uh, dirt tree string look let's go back up okay to fs okay so we have the DT and we have the... Uh, so these are all the directories only, right? So D name, uh, we have the uh, LS res and we have the sub -dares. Okay, and we are gonna say, okay. To, this is gonna be a... Uh, this is gonna be a... Uh, Dir, and then the D name. Okay, and then we're gonna have the uh, D size, size, and we're gonna have a uh, entries. Okay, where? Um. So now we're gonna look. Now we're gonna parse the LS res. Okay. Um. Okay, so let's say here, uh, uh, so uh, we, we have to parse the uh, LS res, okay? So we're just gonna take the LS res, we're gonna throw away all the, we're just gonna take the files, okay? Files equals, um, filter, uh, 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 prefix? Can I say prefix? I don't know. Um, uh, uh, stir. Okay, so take three, uh, uh, stir. Let's see here. Um, to file, a uh, string, uh, maybe fs entry. Okay, now to file, okay, so if it's a string and it starts with D, I, R, R, whatever, then it's, uh, it's gonna be nothing. Otherwise, to file, it starts with a number, uh, F, uh, Esther, okay, so it's gonna be a... Uh, Span uh, is digit, right? Uh, where uh, so it's gonna be uh, fs comma and and then uh, fn equals span is digit. This is gonna be from data dot char. Oh, oh, do not know what shortcut that was. Oh, I don't want to say this. Uh, day six. So this is going to be span is digit. Now we're going to say import data dot char is digit. Can I dig it? Now we're going to say this is going to be file. And then it's going to be fn. And it's going to be read at int uh, uh, fs. Uh, it's going to be just this. Okay. Just. And we're gonna read it in FS. Now, span is digit stir. Okay. Now, we're gonna say here, uh, uh, now, okay. Where, where files equal uh, map, maybe, to 
to file a LS res. Okay, this is from import data dot maybe map maybe. Okay, this is gonna be the files. Um, and then we're gonna say a, a we're gonna say a sub tiers uh, fs sub tiers is gonna be map to fs uh, uh, sub tiers okay um, and then we are gonna say that the this is gonna be the entries, right? Um, have to have a sub there, so this is gonna be FS sub there. Now this size is gonna be equal to um, uh, let's see, uh, FS size is gonna take a FS entry and give us an int, an FS size. A file whatever s is equal to s and fs size of dear and whatever uh, s equals s okay now d size is gonna be a uh, doom 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 it's gonna be some a uh, map fs size to the uh files plus fs subjects and we can actually do this because they are both fs entries uh dear d name d size fs sub there's a yeah this is gonna be actually this is gonna be actually files plus plus fs sub uh now let's see here uh two fs Uh, non exclusive patterns in FS on the slash FN. Huh. Right. This is actually right. Break. A span. I think this is going to be a break. And then we're going to say space here right what is a trace show id trace show id oh, we saw an important debug trace debug dot trace let's see um Okay, why is it empty here? Two file string. Ah, two file is equal to nothing. This is like the empty command in the beginning. Uh, let's see here. Now, span. Just it. I think this should work. Ah. Okay, see, now we are there, and we got the total size, and then file B, the file size of B, file size of C, and A is this, yeah, see, okay, it just works. Now, does it work for the input? Yes. Okay, so, now we've, uh, we've done the parsing part. <laughs> Let's say... Uh, Let's do the, uh, you know, we could do the pretty printing to print it like this. But, um, oh, let's just do that, right? Uh, instance show FS, oh no, okay. Let's say, let's say, let's see. Doom, 
let's see so uh, a uh, doesn't have the size of a right so just create a light 894853 yes okay now now we have to uh, let's see let's see if we can write the show here i think it would be nice to to show it in a nice way bump Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, uh, we're trying to do a show for this. Okay, so in let's not uh, driving show instance show FS entry where okay uh, now so show of a deer uh, D name int entries this is going to be equal to um let's just see how here okay so it's going to be a it's going to be a dash and then plus plus a plus plus a d name Plus plus uh, this string a uh, deer size equals same as for the files right plus plus show a uh, s this is not int it's gonna be as said uh, show as said uh, plus plus and we close the braces okay we show the deer and the size of it. And uh, then for all the um, and then we're going to say where uh, SDs sub sub there so, so uh, a cons equals a map show entries and then we're going to say a so we're gonna we're gonna we now we have the lines and then we're gonna map and uh, we're gonna add uh, two spaces uh, to the front of all of them and then we're gonna we're gonna unline that okay uh, and then it's gonna be this and then it's gonna be um, okay so this is uh, slash n plus plus cons okay this is how we show a directory and I'll show a file fn ss as said equals a dash plus plus f name plus plus file comma size equals plus plus shows as said plus plus uh, yes now let's see how it prints it out oh yeah i derived show but now i'm redefining show okay uh, and this is not uh, it's gonna be fn ah okay it didn't quite work as i invited uh there okay and then it prints the directory okay first of all we need a we're missing um space here Okay, so it uh, printed the D name and then it prints the dear, the A dear. Uh, mm, so it works for the first one and it adds two spaces in front of all the first ones. So for when it prints A, why is it not adding two spaces? Uh, in front of all the things that are in A. Uh, let me see. It's adding two spaces. Map show entries, and these are all. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ah because they're not 
lines anymore. Okay, so we max, we show, and we then, okay. Let me see here. So we do um, we do onlines and then we do lines again. So we kind of the ones who are onlines dollar map plus plus dollar lines dollar. So we gotta kind of undo it and do it again. Yeah, there we go. And now we get a bunch of extra lines here. But that's okay. Anyway, we got the size here. Trace show. Where are we showing it? We're still showing the stream here. Okay, but this is uh, this is what we expected, yeah. Uh, except there's more. Uh, yeah, there's some more spaces. That's okay. Okay. Uh, so then A and then okay so but it's not like it's showing the files first and then the third okay but that's fine that is absolutely fine find all the deer trees with total size of at most 100,000 then calculate the sum of their total sizes okay um Okay, let's see here. Um, task one is going to take in this FS entry, right? And it's going to give us an int. Task one, uh, we're actually going to start. We know it's a deer, right? Um, uh, and what do they look like? They We have the deer string int and then the list of FS entries. Uh, string int. Uh, and we don't care about the name, we care about the size and entries. Okay, and then we say a... Uh, so, case, size is greater than or equal to 100,000. Uh, of at most... Yeah, okay, so that's greater than or equal to 1,000. Uh, so if size is less than 100,000, then we just return zero, right? We don't have to recurse, right? Okay, if size, otherwise, uh, we say uh, size plus a uh, uh, sum dollar map task one entries. And task one for anything else is zero. Okay, now let's see here. Print to fs. Uh, print a uh, task one dot to fs. What do you get for the example? Seven three three one four eight zero oh, seven. Uh, to begin, find all directories with add minus hundred. Example: of these are currently the size nine five four three c three three. Ah. Right, okay, so, uh, okay, this was, this is the opposite, actually. Okay, so. Okay, if it's a, if it's a, so let me just do like this, some um, map task one entries, otherwise, a, uh, We don't include them if they're bigger than a hundred thousand. Nine five four three seven. Okay, which is exactly the one we should put together for the example. Now let's do it for the input. One seven nine and then two 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 two. All right. 
we got task one. Wow, this is taking us an hour and a half. Uh, there was a lot of parsing. Ah, uh, okay. The total disk space available to us is seven million. Uh, uh, this is not. This is uh, seventy millions. To run the update, you need to new space of at least thirty millions. Yeah. You need to find a directory you can delete that will find free enough enough space to run the update. In the example above, total size of the outermost directory and that's the only one space is for you. Well, this means the size of the unused space currently must be 216. Okay, which isn't quite the ready has in. Okay. Therefore, okay. You'll follow option lead A, B, A, D, or slash. Okay. Uh. Between these, choose the smallest, increasing unused space by two four. Find the smallest directory that, if deleted, would free up enough space on the file system to run the update. Okay. Uh, then let's say let's just flatten these. Okay. Flatten. Takes an FS entry and returns a list of FS entries. Flatten a, a file. So I don't care. So if it's a dir, uh, oh, I never always forget. So uh, it's a dir string int FS entry. A uh, string int. Uh, so this is going to be. D at dir and then whatever and then entries equals a D and then Latin entries. Uh, what? Uh, concat map. Flatten entries. A uh, flatten anything else is going to be the empty list. Now, uh, let's see here. Um, if we, if we, uh, if we flatten, if we just okay, so we flatten the uh, print flatten dot two fs. Now we flatten the example. Oh yeah. Okay. So we get uh, D, and then we get E, and we get A. So then we get the uh, okay, and then a. Uh, let's actually just make this a string comma int. So this is gonna be a, a n comma i, and then we say n comma i, and then flatten the rest. Yeah. So slash a e d. Okay, um, okay, and then we, uh, so we need to, we need to find something that's bigger than uh, this number, uh, so task two is equal to fs entry and then uh, int, okay, task two equals, okay, so we're going to flatten so it's going to be root. We're going to flatten the root. Um, actually, we're going to we're going to so we're going to flatten the root. Okay. Then we're going to filter a, and we're going to say S and D. So the second part of that is going to have to be a a larger or equal to this number of 30 okay uh, uh, i think this will work dot s and d and then we're gonna say a uh, minimum by s and d and then we're gonna say a uh, uh, s and d and this minimum by uh, should be somewhere uh, 
in the standard lift. A minimum buy. Minimum buy of uh, data log list. Yes. Import data dot list. A minimum buy. Ah, it takes in uh, so minimum on. Uh, minimum by and then I think we can say like on uh, import data dot function on uh, and we say uh, we actually say here compare on so we compare the second elements dun, dun. okay it doesn't like this because a uh, What's the type of this whole uh, string command to come a pool? Yeah, okay. So, that's indeed. Now, this is going to be give us given an int to bool. Okay, and now I'm going to say bigger than larger to 30 million. Ah, but it's based on the size of the. It's based on the size of of the file system, right? So we actually have to say here, uh, root, root at, okay, so we're gonna say dollar, and we're gonna say dollar, and we're gonna say dollar, and we're gonna say root, and we are gonna say that uh, this is the dear, it has some, it has the name root, and if the size of the root is something, and we don't care about the rest. Um, and this is actually not gonna be 30 million, it's gonna be 70 million minus a uh, size. Let's see. Uh, ask to. I this should say this says D. Now let's see what it says for the input. Uh, let's check it. It's not the right your answer is too high. Here's that make you can ask questions. Okay. No, okay, so let's just flatten it then and see. We're doing something wrong here. Uh, flatten. Uh, uh, map and print. Okay, um. The size of the root is oh, okay. This one. So, so the total base of space. Oh, okay. I think I think we we overcomplicated it. This part. And task one, task two. I think we just overcomplicate, so it doesn't actually depend on the size of the root. It's just saying that. Uh, okay, a uh, task two. Huh. But now it's not giving the right answer for the. No, it's not giving the right answer for this one. Uh, okay. To run the update, you need unused space for at least 30 million. You need to find a directory that you will give up. Okay. Um. Okay, yeah. So it's actually gonna be 
I think 30. Okay, so. Let's see. Let's let's calculate this properly. Uh Raku size. Where Raku where Raku size equals um, therefore, the update still requires a director to do a total size of at least 8381165. Okay. So, uh, let's see. Unused equals 7123 minus size. This is how much memory uh, is unused. So that is this number. Which isn't quite enough. Okay, and then we need to say a uh, Reku size equals 30 minus unused, right? Okay, now I at least get the uh, get the right one for uh, the first one. Ah, okay, we just messed up the sizes, I think. All right, we did it. It did take us a while. Ugh. Okay, so let's recap. We wrote a parser to parse this whole command thing into a string of trees and stuff. Um. And the parser just looks like this, like it gets lines, it like looks for commands, and then it parses the result of the ls, and then it kind of, it starts a parse of a directory, and then it goes until the end of the directory and kind of starts new parses of directories within them and then kind of ends them, right? So it's like parsing, uh, you know, matching parentheses, right? Except the start is a cd into a directory and the end is a cd dot dot or a cd end of file, right? Uh, so which is this part, right? So we we parse a directory until uh, so we 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 parse a new directories, right? Until we hit um, the cd dot dot or end of file, right? And this it was, it was like start a new parse and then finish that one. So yeah, but it's all about matching parentheses, right? And I think uh, doing that with a proper parser is really key here. Uh, another thing we had to make sure of is that we we can't just do until we see a command. We actually have to do until a look command, um, which is because otherwise. So what these parsers do is that they like they consume the input, right? So once you match with something, you've already consumed it. That's, that's why you have to look, right? So you have to be careful that ah, oh, it didn't consume too much. All right, so that was the hardest part. Then we had to uh, then we had to turn these directory things into a, like a proper file system, and then we took some time to pretty print that, um, and then finally we did uh, we calculated um, these were the ones that were larger than like directories were uh, the smallest directory that was larger than a hundred thousand, uh, and then we figured out how to do task two, but we. So originally we just said 70 million here, which was too much. Like we actually had to figure out the required size, but yeah, it worked out, worked out for the example, but it was not actually, uh, it wasn't actually what we wanted. All right. Uh, that was quite a long, uh, quite a long session, I have to say. But, uh, Seven. Get push. Okay, I want to say that I don't know. I feel like I would like more uh, problems that have to do with the problem itself, right? And kind of making that fast. Oh, making a data structure makes a problem fast, right? Because uh, what's happened so far is that, uh, like, almost all the time we spent, like, except for yesterday, I think we've always spent a lot more on the parsing than we have on the actual problem. But, 
Yeah. That's how it is sometimes. All right. Sorry for the audio issues uh, in the beginning. Uh, I don't know what happened there because the recording I have, like the local recording, has the audio. But, uh, yeah, apparently the audio wasn't being sent to Twitch. But we fixed that. Uh, and now I have to do some work to merge the two things and then I'll upload it to YouTube. Uh, you can check the playlist. I think it's below for uh, the videos so far. But I think, you know, we had a lot of fun. And I, I really like that we kind of started doing parsing, I think, yesterday. Uh, like proper parsing with a read P. Ah, no. We actually did it. Yeah, we did it for day five. But that really came in handy today, right? That we were kind of fresh in how to parse things, right? Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't know how people are doing this in other languages, right? Because parsing is... I mean, Haskell is really good at parsing. You just do a monad. You just lazily evaluate. Anyway, we managed quite well uh, after some initial difficulties. Anyway, thank you for tuning in today. Uh, tune back in tomorrow, 6 o'clock European time, 5 o'clock UTC, which is Icelandic time. And, uh, yeah, now I'm going to go take a break. This was a long session. All right, thank you all, and uh, hopefully see you tomorrow. And yeah, we have a Discord as well, but like there's no one in the Discord. But it would be nice if people want to chat and get some help maybe with their admin code. Ah, now I want to ask that uh, uh, Ray Hick, right? So he said that he would race me or they would race me. Did I win? Are they even watching still? Uh, I'm not sure. We did take a long time, but yeah, I think we still did okay. All right. That's it for today. Thank you all. And uh, yeah, hopefully see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye-bye.